Hello everyone, welcome back to the Video Vault, I'm John, and today I'm going to be reviewing the BBC series Orphan Black. Now I can't really go that far into the plot, because the plot actually kind of spoils a lot of the main focus and story, but vaguely I'll just say it's about <clears throat> human cloning. Other than that, I think you should watch it so you can figure it out for yourself. It is mind-blowing. It is uh, exciting. It's intense. It's funny. Um, and for a subject or plot line of, uh, that is really common, as in cloning, they really make it special, unique, and uh, something that always is fresh. Um, the actress that plays uh, the main character or characters is awesome. She won a couple of awards for her performances. Her name is Matiana Masala, I think. And um, wow, uh, I don't know how she does it. I mean, because she doesn't play one, two, three, four or even five people. She plays about 11. And to do, uh, to bring a uniqueness, uh, a quality to all of these characters, the humanity, um, uh, the, the, the psychic um, psychosis that she goes through with some of these characters, and uh, some of them are just so well crafted by her acting. I mean, without the good writing, though, it, it would just probably just be some ordinary, bland show. But this show is amazing. I watched uh, uh, season one through four on uh, Amazon Prime, and uh, each season's about ten episodes long, and uh, they take you all the way through to. Each episode, they unwind like a well-oiled well machine. And there's, our, there's twists and turns and surprises, and they're always coming up with new and exciting ideas that pop out uh, right in front of you, and they're surprise, surprisingly fresh. And uh, uh, I want to thank my great friend Marion for recommending this show because let me tell you something, it's made me really excited about seeing the final season coming up in June. And uh, I am counting the days because I have no idea what the, what's going to happen, but I know there is going to be one final battle uh, between uh, good and evil. And um, I can't wait to see it. Um, I'm really happy that I started watching the show, and I'll have to say it's probably one of my favorite shows right now. Uh, it's probably made itself into at least the top 15. Um, there's another way I can kind of describe the show. It's if, what if uh, Twilight Zone, Alfred Hitchcock, H.G. Wells, Fringe, and X-Files uh, all had a baby this was what would be the show. And it's right up there with those shows, I, I think, in my opinion. Especially the acting and the writing. Um, I, I, and, and the special effects and the CGI is like spotless. I, I can't really uh, tell what's going on. I mean, uh, I, can't, I can't tell that this one actress is playing more than one part. I mean, of course, if you really look, yes. But this, it never takes you out of the story when you you finally realize, hey, this is the same actress doing all the same roles. And um, again, I, I highly recommend the show, um, seasons one through four. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a rating of, uh, of 93 out of 100. And um, that's only because for a few minor things and subplots that you know, are okay. They're not great. They're not bad, though, of course. Uh, and as the plot lines go along, 
they do come to a point to where, ah, oh, that makes sense. Now they stretch the story, but it comes back to a point to a head. So, once again, I recommend this TV show for anyone that likes thrillers or science fiction. Uh, even this ha has really good drama in it, too. And let me tell you, I have two favorite characters right now, and one of them is uh, Helena, and she's a badass. Let me tell you. She's a crazy badass, but she's she's awesome. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to sign off here, and I'm going to say have a nice evening, everybody, and I'll see you next time here on Video Vault. Good night.